G'day everybody, Ben here, thanks again for tuning in. Well, plenty to cover off on this week, so let's rip straight in as we kick off first with the much anticipated budget which was released. As we really drill down into the nitty gritty of this, there wasn't too much in the broader property sector for us to really look at. Yes, there were some concessions there for affordable housing, but that one's mainly reserved for some of the bigger developers looking at building 50 plus apartments. One of the key things they did want to focus on is definitely the elderly, the vulnerable, and also our healthcare workers on the front line, which I'm pretty sure we can all agree is a really good start. Now the rate that divided the nation last week, hardly anyone got it right, and yes, it did go up an extra 25 basis points. What was different about this cash rate increase was how we felt the mood on the front line right across our entire network at our open homes. Historically, whenever we see a cash rate go up, that very first week as the market feels that shock wave go through the market, everybody sits back, waits a little bit, and it's the following week when we start seeing activity re-enter it back into the market. But that was anything but right across our network. Last weekend, we saw great numbers right across all of our open homes, averaging about 15 groups right across every single home that we opened up. Now, what was also interesting about this is we saw a huge spike in the auction clearance rates. Right out there on the front line, right across the Sydney market, the auction clearance rates tipped back into the 60% zone, landing exactly on 60.5%. Now, that clearance rate is the highest that we've seen inside of 15 months. The last time we tipped into the 60% clearance rate zone was back in January 2022. Now, that was the end of the COVID boom era. So that's a really interesting metric when we look at that. Talking about some strong results, we've had a number of those incredible standout results right across our network. Kicking off first here down in Birchgrove, Mark Boas set a non-waterfront record last week, selling prior to market down at Wharf Road, trading north of nine and a half million number of really interested parties on that and it got competitive before it even reached the auction date. That was an incredible result. Then on Saturday, Mark held an auction for a home down in Jubilee Place. It was actually a townhouse that needed a ton of work, something which was a little bit abnormal for this market as most people are certainly lending themselves towards a turnkey purchase. Now this one had some spirited bidding on the day, selling almost half a million dollars over the written reserve. Then down at Smith Street on Saturday morning, Julie Hatch from our Annandale office had another incredible auction there. This is your quintessential worst house in a great street. The home needed a ton of work and it was very well received with spirited bidding. This one trading almost $400,000 above the written reserve. Then as we head over to Lane Cove, George Dioloris had an incredible auction down at Tambourine Bay Road. Quintessential family home, spirited bidding. That one trading almost $300,000 above the owner's sell zone. And then lastly, in Forest Lodge, my team was fortunate enough to package up the second sale of a pair of homes, setting the second highest ever recorded suburb price for a home in that suburb, trading just a smidge above five and a quarter million. Now, out and about in the marketplace, we've got some incredible homes hitting the market this week and coming on next week as well. A couple worth definitely checking out. Over in Lynx Road in Concord, Dan Patterson from our Dremoyne office has this. Now, Lynx Road in Concord is probably revered as arguably the best spot in that street. It backs onto the Concord Golf Course, so if you're a golfer, this is the one that you definitely want to be a member of. Now, the home itself has got a very pretty quintessential bungalow facade, and there's definitely scope there to turn that into an incredible home to match the other ones in that street, just down from Majors Bay Road. Then if we head across to Lewisham, my team has been fortunate enough to put online, probably one of the best well put together, well constructed and well designed homes that we're going to see for some time. This one was the worst home in the best street when they bought this seven or eight years ago and they have built an absolutely beautiful home. Six bedrooms, old, new, modern at the rear, pool, north, it has got everything that you are after, four car parking and did I mention it is in the best street in Lewisham. The home has also taken out a number of awards for its construction and design. That one is definitely well worth checking out. Now that's it for me. Thanks again for tuning in. Look forward to seeing you out and about. Bye for now.